hey guys this is the third video of the abstract reasoning series if you haven't watched my previous videos i will put the links in the description box and you will find some great great tips and more sample questions in those videos as well all right going back to the first problem in this video which figure completes the series there are four answers answer a b c and d you have to find the next image in the series the first thing we need to do here is to find a pattern if you have already watched my previous videos, you know we are not going to focus on the whole image at once because it makes things complicated. We always should keep our focus on a single element and try to find the pattern of that element. So here we can see two elements in each image, a shape and an arrow. The first element we are going to focus is the arrow. In the first row, the first image has a downward arrow, the second image has an upward arrow. In the second row, the first image has a downward arrow and according to the pattern of the first row, we can assume there should be an upward arrow in the second image. So looking at the answers, we can see only D has an upward arrow. So D should be the answer. But let's verify it by using the pattern of the shapes. In this image, there is a triangle. In the next image, it's a square. Triangle has three sides and the square has four sides. So we can see that one side has been increased. In the second row, here we can see a hexagon that has six sides. So we can assume in the next shape, there should have seven sides. If we check the answers again, we can see that only D has a shape with seven sides. So the correct answer is answer D. Let's go to the second problem. Now you can solve this problem with me. There are two elements in a single image which are a square and a line. First, let's focus on the square. In the first image, the square is in the bottom left corner and it has moved to the top left corner, then to the top right corner and then to the bottom right corner. So we can see the square has been rotated in a clockwise direction and in the next image the square should be in the bottom left corner so the answer can be either a c or d now let's find the pattern of the line in the first image there is a vertical line in the next image a diagonal line here is a horizontal line and again a diagonal line so in the next image we can expect a vertical or a horizontal line and also we can notice this line has rotated in a clockwise direction when it comes to here. So for the next image, it will rotate again and the line will come to here. So we can see the answer should be C. Now it's pretty easy, huh? All right, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to try this third problem. Use the comment section to write your answers so you can check how many answers were correct at the end of this video. All right, let's see what we have here. We can see black squares and white squares. If you look closely, you will see this middle square is always black and we can see the same thing in all the answers. So we only need to worry about the squares around it. Let's see what had happened. There are three squares here and four in here and we can see alternate black and white colors. This white square has been moved to here and this black square has moved to here and this white square has moved to here since the colors are alternate between black and white the next square should be a black square you will see the same thing in these images so it's a valid pattern according to that pattern this white square should move to here and we can see only b has a white square in that position so the answer is b I hope you got the same answer as well. All right, the next problem. Which figure is the odd one out? There are five figures, A, B, C, D, and E, and you have to choose the odd one out. 
In previous problems, we only focused on a single element at a time. But when you are going to solve odd one out kind of problems, you have to look at the whole image at once. It is a tip. I'll walk you through this one. Here we can see lots of triangle shapes. In the first image, we can see a white triangle here and here. And another two combined white angles here. So all together, there are four white angles in the first image. In this one, we can see three white angles. And here, four. And here, again, four. And four in the last image as well. Only B had three white triangles, which is the odd one. So the answer is B. See, that's pretty easy, huh? Keep practicing these problems and you will get the ability to see these patterns really, really quickly. Now you can try this one and comment your answer in the comment section. All right, here we can see a square, a white rectangle, a black rectangle and a line in each image. When we look at these images, we can see there are two sides in each image separated by the line. And in B, C, D and E images, we can see one side has only the square and the other side has two rectangles. But A is not like that. And it's the odd one. The answer is A. Did you get that answer? I hope you got the correct answer. Now we are going to solve another type of abstract reasoning problem. Which figure completes the statement? Here this image can be converted into this one. And similarly what should be the image we get after converting this one. So when this image is converted into this image we can see the white square has been moved to here in a clockwise direction and the black square has been moved to here in a counterclockwise direction. Similarly, this white square should be moved here because of the clockwise direction and the black square should be here because of the counterclockwise direction. So the answer is clear and it's A. Alright, this one is for you. You have 20 seconds and comment your answer in the comment section. Okay, here this black square has been moved to the center and these two horizontal lines are there as it is. But we can see additional two vertical lines. Similarly, here we have a white square and it should be moved to center and the single horizontal line should be there as it is. Since there is a single horizontal line, additional single vertical line should be here. So now we know the answer and it's C. See, that's not so hard. All you have to do is keep practicing. All right, here is another odd one out type of problem. Try this one, comment your answer below. Okay, here we can see a horizontal line and a vertical line. At the two ends in one line, there is a black square and a white square. And we can see lines have been rotated, but we can't see any particular pattern. There are small squares as well. If you look closely, you can see a small white square is more close to the large black square. And the small black square is more close to the large white square. We can see the same observation here and here as well. But here it's different. So the answer is E. Did you get that correct answer? Yeah. I think now you are getting really good at this. Alright. 
two more problems to go i am giving you 20 seconds to try Okay, here we can see there are lines and each line has combined with the white and the black square. Here we can see both squares are on the same side in each line. Here it's a little bit different. Only one line has both squares on the same side and the other line has squares on both sides. We can see the same behavior in here, here and here as well. So it's obvious the answer should be a. Alright, last one. Which figure completes the statement? Here are your 20 seconds. Okay, when this image comes to here, this rectangle has moved to the top and this black square has moved to here. Similarly, in here, this black rectangle should be moved to the top and this white square should move to here. So the answer is B. Alright guys, we discussed 10 abstract reasoning problems today and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll check your answers in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay in tune for the next video. Cheers.